I'm Helene van Loon and I'm a project manager and curator at an arts and design center. I'm also working as a teacher at Luca School of Arts Campus Seamine in Genk and I'm also enrolled in the project C Accelerate. C Accelerate is a European project which focuses on increasing entrepreneurship in higher education, especially in fields of arts and, and creative practices. It's not always easy uh, to be an entrepreneur. It's really hard work. I hope I've uh, encouraged them to give them a bit more trust that it's just fun to be a real entrepreneur in the field of arts and design. Um, I think the class has definitely helped us with um, seeing the value of teamwork, the struggles that come with it, but also the, the way that you have to help your team by building a foundation that they can work further from. And then apart from that, all the, the, the small details that you need for organizing a big event, there's a lot of things that you wouldn't think are necessary, but from the moment that you're starting with them, all these things just come from left and right. I have to make sure that um, you look at all of them. Verwerkt is a pop-up Christmas market where arts and design students sell their unique items and works. And what's special about it is that these same students organize this market completely themselves from A to Z. So they focus on production, the construction of the market, the materials, the transport, making a script, timetables, who does what. Next up is also communication, so they think of a good name, a good campaign image, they make a poster, they set up a complete social media uh, campaign. Last but not least, there's also the business part, so they open a bank account, they keep track of the money that goes out, money that comes in, they make like a balance, they have to analyze a bit like, or, or did we make some profit, or how is things going? So it's, it's really this whole uh, market where they do everything themselves. I learned a lot about how to arrange everything when it comes to making a uh, small exhibition slash market. What's behind the scenes of everything, mainly focusing on giving people different tasks and such. Verwerkt fits in the C Accelerate project because it gives the students really first-hand experience and they learn by doing. So by setting up the market, they learn how to organize, how to collaborate, how to interact with possible clients. So all these parts that are really important on becoming a future entrepreneur, they really get this first experience in just by doing it. Werkhuis is a place where creative people can come together. We mainly focus on the interdisciplinary cross-breeding, how we want to call it. <laughs> it's because a lot of people from different backgrounds in arts, in gangs specifically, have no place to come together and actually give their knowledge to somebody else who has a completely different craft or art form. We facilitate the space to uh, host 20 residents as well, all of whom have their own practice, which uh, creates a very interesting dynamic because everyone works in their own discipline and it really stimulates as well the interdisciplinary vibe that we have going on here. And uh, on the other hand, the room can also be used to host lectures, uh, do workshops, events uh, and anything you can imagine really. The collective started in 2021. Um, we found ourselves creating stuff in our uh, little apartments, all separated. And it was always a mess and we felt that we had no creative space to really let it out. So that's why we uh, were searching for vacant buildings here in Genk because there are a lot of buildings who are empty. And we found this place which is actually an old uh, cinema which inspired us in many ways. And then we found the owner and realtor, Nina Bruno, and she really helped us gain this place. And yeah, now we are here. <laughs> Werkhuis is really a facilitator for all kinds of other people uh, wanting to do cultural activities, uh, which means we offer room for 20 residents. Uh, but it can range from a musician to a product designer to a theatre maker. 
um, which makes we have a really interesting dynamic. On the other hand, Vetka is also hosts a lot of events, workshop, lectures, and it's also a space where people can meet each other, hang out, have a drink, or, but also really be productive together and work together. The Vetkas is actually an, an extension of Luca and the Sea Mine site. We try to be a bridge between uh, the Sea Mine site and the city center. And on the other hand, students can also work together here, uh, which there wasn't really room for besides from the school. I feel like we are more experimental than in school. There are a lot more things uh, free and um, non-fixed and that's what I really like about this and in that way I think we can be something in the group of the school that the school never can give to students um, because I feel like a lot of people also really get a lot of uh, professional thrive from this and really accelerate their own work. I'm a product designer, so I produce things. The ways of producing I prefer the most are digital, like 3D printing, but I also really like to combine it with the older crafts like clay molding. I think it's a very interesting mix. I recently started with my own brand. I'm still building it, but I hope to be able to uh, build it further into my own design studio. It's called Mildes Design. The satisfaction that you get from seeing somebody wearing your own items or just having them, pressuring them, um, it's a, a satisfaction that you can't really get anywhere else. So I hope in the future I'll be able to have it more. <laughs> My artistic practice is based on photography, but um, I'm studying visual arts. So I kind of do all around a bit of everything. But My main focus is in reportage photography, street photography, I also like to focus on landscape photography recently, and as in the last few projects, and that's it at the moment. I first started out as a child as a hobby, and then it started into something my parents didn't want me to, to do. Being an artist is kind of hard, I think. After my parents gave me a chance to prove myself, I went on to university to study photography. Um, I have a lot of different interests because of this, uh, but I am a maker, so I love to create with my hands. And most of the times I find myself doing something with textiles or making clothes or um, creating performances and scenarios for where I wear them. I feel like I've grown a lot. <laughs> uh, since I graduated, a lot of things are fluctuating, um, but I feel like because I found a Dwerikhuis, I found myself in this position where I had to be professional in a lot of different ways and I was already working with a lot of professionals. Um, you really see how they work and you step up. So that's actually um, what I learned when I was at school and I'm trying to imply that in my practice right now. I have a big interest in crafts within my practice, which means I work a lot with ceramics, leather and also textiles. And I also love to involve other people in my projects through participatory design methods. Actually, we see work as more as a method rather than uh, it is tied to a place or form. So maybe, yeah, we can see this method uh, having shapes in many different things after these two years, maybe in a different city like Brussels, for example, but also internationally, I think when this project really works out, we could do a lot of different things with it. But yeah, it can have many different forms. I think uh, it will only evolve in the future and we will learn a lot with what we are doing here right now. Um, so I think the key thing here is learning from each other and really moving on from that.